what is up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel and i am back with more videos because obviously i have not been posting but i have been posting on all my other social media platforms um yeah i was slacking on my part and we know this as you could see i do have adhd so i'm tired of telling you guys hey you know just need to take a break i'm just i post when i post i don't really you know have a strategic schedule I will be getting more on a schedule right now. My my scheduling is everywhere. It has been for a minute. And I've just been like so overwhelmed with overstimulated. As a neurodivergent person, I'm always overstimulated when I have too many tasks or not enough tasks. So then I overpile myself. Anyways, I wanted to hop on here because I feel like I was listening to this podcast and I was just like, oh, I got to make a video. I feel like people need to hear this because we've been in a state of like dehumanizing people for mistakes they make that didn't know that were wrong or the cancel culture that we have and how we're unable to speak for ourselves or can't say certain words because of the cancel culture and everything is so sensitive nowadays that we're filtered by our own words. And I'm like, wow, that is so true. And nowadays, like we can't even have a, a conversation. And even if we are in the wrong, where this word has been used or certain words have been used to dehumanize people. Not everybody may know that definition. And, um, you know, we can have that open conversation be like, hey, this is why. And then instead of like, let's just cancel their whole life. We have a criticizing moment where we tell them why they're wrong or da 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 da. You know, even that like, having that open communication and being able to understand people from different perspectives and not shutting them down just because we don't agree with their their belief system and stuff like that i think i've always been very open-minded when it came to even religion like i'm not a big religious person and everybody has their own beliefs but even that is a huge thing that people are like oh well this is right and this is wrong how do we know which religion is right how do you not know that this is what helps them? That is their faith. And never will I judge somebody else's for somebody else's faith. I really feel like we need to be open that people are different. We have different perspectives, different beliefs, different feelings, different experiences. And what resonates with me may not resonate with you. And when we're able to have that conversation and be able to be more open-minded or emotionally intelligent enough to really be able to hear somebody out and not feel it as an attack, or hear out also criticism and be like, hmm, let me take this in and see if that resonates with me. And if it doesn't, then it doesn't, you know, I'm glad I was able to hear this person out and take it myself and just feel like, you know what, maybe this doesn't resonate with me, but I took it in, was able to analyze myself and then let it go. But sometimes in a world of so many people who are unable to either take criticism or scared to speak up about their own feelings, their own emotions, or afraid to voice their voice. And that's why my podcast is Deep Voices, because growing up, I was always like scared to say certain things to people. I felt like I was gonna hurt somebody's feelings. And then I'm like, why do I feel like I have to restrain my voice from this? Why do I have to keep this to myself? And in a, in a in sense, it's like, what am I fearing? My fear was actually that if I speak up, if I say these thoughts that are coming or, or this judgment or just this opinion that I have about the situation, that their love for me would die, that they will no longer love me or they would leave my life if I spoke up. And for so long, I had feared voicing my own opinion, even when I disagreed or, you know, like if I had my own opinion and didn't agree with theirs, voicing what I thought, because I was always scared that because I have this difference, that they will no longer love me the same because they know will no longer accept me anymore. And I think I dealt with this a very long time because it started with my sexuality. It really did. I was so scared and coming in a home or being raised in a home that was so judgmental that I always feared being different. I always feared if having a difference of opinion or, or difference of, of sexuality, religion, anything like that, because I knew I wasn't gonna be accepted because I didn't believe what they believed. I wasn't what they were. I didn't think what they thought. So having that 
me being such an intellectual person and my mind always open to learning new things and love and loving to learn different things it really made me lose actual family because I didn't I felt so different so instead of voicing my opinions or having those deep conversations I just cut them off because I was just like if this is what I fear and I know what's gonna happen and, and when I did try to voice those opinions those exact things happened I lost them and honestly it wasn't a loss it was a gain it taught me that it's okay to voice my opinion if someone decides to leave because there's a difference in opinion or because you have a difference in belief then that's 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 their loss you obviously don't need someone who's not emotionally available or emotionally intelligent to understand people have difference in perspectives and difference in beliefs and difference in opinions you get what i'm saying as long as it's not harming anybody or or belittling humans or you know what i'm saying like obviously there is moral code and then there's up here because i really do believe that if it is something where it is is based on what we call it racism that of course should be aligned for me I will not stay with someone or, or continue a friendship because they're blatantly, openly, you know, this thing. And I, as an indigenous woman who also is very out there proud, will be like, no, that's something I just, I will not choose to hang out with someone who's openly like that. There's, you are allowed to be human, you're allowed to be different. And when you have to have an argument because you're human is ridiculous. But that's what I wanted to talk about and that podcast really opened my mind. It was like, I had to have this conversation with the people on YouTube because I haven't really had deep conversations with you guys. And I really just been keeping quiet because I really just been in my grind, honestly, in my grind and um, having to up my, uh, up my bag, you feel me? Anyways, I really missed you guys. I do want to have more talks and I am yapping right now, but uh, I haven't talked. I really miss you guys. I love y'all and I cannot wait to see you guys in another video. Peace.